Hey, it's Nitya with Nitya Living. I was so sad to hear that Aaron Carter had drowned in the bathtub this weekend. So tragic when we see these young people dying from um, drug addiction, you know, substance abuse and the, the price of celebrity, you know? So um, I wanna first say that I've got a bunch of videos that I need to post and um, it's taken me a couple of weeks to get some of them out. So they're gonna pop out pretty quick, uh, one after the other. I think I've got two or three. Um, please like and sub subscribe if this speaks to you. This is Bazi Chinese Astrology. And um, I also wanna say that if you're interested in your own chart, uh, I love doing these. I love knowing nothing about you and being able to tell you everything there is to know about you, including where you are, the journey of this life and how it's led you to this now time and what's, what's ahead, what you can, you can look forward to, what messes you can sidestep because your chart gives you enough information to know how to sidestep stuff, right? So um, you can go to knityaliving.com, order your astrology ch chart, and then after I send it to you, you get a 30-minute Q&A with me on Zoom. It's pretty cool. I've enjoyed meeting people from all over this world, and we are all in this beautiful collective story of I would say navigating as effectively as we can through our lives. And everybody in our deepest of longings just wants to thrive. You know, it doesn't matter how old we are. We want to know that our journey is going to continue to give us the things we most long for. And is that possible? Does our chart allow us to see that? Now, when you look at a chart, I can see the relationships with your, your family very clearly. Your month represents your older siblings and your parents. Now, Aaron Carter had a very conflicted relationship with his family. He, um, had a very disconnected relationship with his father. And, um, and with his older brother. And I cannot imagine what it would feel like to have a sibling die like this and be so unresolved. And so my heart goes out to the family. Um, the beautiful thing of, you know, on the other side of tragedy and loss is the recognition that once we do pass to the other side, I think of it as passing through a veil that we just can't see, but is like right there. Like maybe I'm penetrating through something right now. Maybe there are spirit energies all around me and around you all the time that we just can't see. And these beings have been with us in previous lives. In this life, there are guards, there are guardians, there are angels. And the beautiful thing about a soul's passing is once it's freed from this narrative, it becomes pure again. And a pure soul, my friends, is nothing but love. In that, we have such an opportunity to lay down even the most painful, possibly really allowing yourself to heal from some deep, deep pains. I know for myself, losing both parents in the course of the past year I um, I have 
come to a place of being able to literally burn away my past and my childhood and say I no longer want to drag this narrative with me and have it continue to complicate my life right now. And it was liberating. And I, I share this because there is so much to be said for the power of letting go the power of forgiveness and accepting what was doesn't have to define who you are today. And I know that's easy to say. Um, and I don't know your particular story, but this guy was born December 7th, 1987 at 8.02 in the morning. There's no adjustment for daylight savings time because that is not when daylight savings time is observed. He allegedly drowned in the bathtub on uh, November 5th. Um, of this year, obviously. Um, so looking at his chart, he was born on a yin fire rabbit year, a yin metal pig month, a yang metal tiger day and a yang metal dragon hour now the first thing that can't that i saw your day master is everything of who you are sorry it's really oddly warm here in richmond um it's about to turn cold finally but we have been in a crazy kind of indian summer here um so the first thing i see is his day pillar is yang metals sitting on top of a tiger and tiger is yang wood and this is this is someone who when you have these opposing it's like if you have for instance fire and water in your day pillar if you have wood and earth any of the elements that are opposing each other for me intuitively i see it as someone who is self-conflicted um, looking at his relationship with his father and his older brother, um, this is a relationship that is for him, um, somebody who is stealing of his money potentially, and somebody who is seen as an ally and a friend. And this is both his dad and his father. So his older brother and his dad, he, Aaron, was seeing them as an ally and a friend. The question is, did they deliver on that? Interesting thing, if, and I've done this where you have an entire family, you line up all the charts. I did this with my brothers when um, my mom died this year and each one of us in our astrology, we're looking for something completely different from my mom. One saw my mom as an absolute mother figure one saw her as a friend appear and i don't remember what mine was but it wasn't either one of those so anyway um the you're also looking at the amount of conflict in a chart okay so um and the amount of flow what's happening in the flow of this chart he has a void uh, in his hour, which shows instability um, in his career and with his children. Instability can be volatility. It can be, given that this is a dragon, he was very much a leader in his work. He was somebody that had innate leadership skills and also somebody who really drew attention from other people for being really innovative, creative, you know, just a really interesting guy. I'm looking for a book. I'm forever looking for my books. Where are they? Hold on two seconds. And 
I am looking at the fact that his relationship to a um, potential partner is seen as um, somebody who plays a, a sort of a father figure for him, which is kind of unusual for his wife, his wife to be a father figure. So it makes you wonder, what is that role? For instance, like, what is that authority that he was looking for? Maybe he's looking for someone that has that authority, that has that dominion over him in the relationship. Um, but there's that conflict of the wood and the metal. Now, unlike Whitney Houston, who also drowned in a bathtub with substance abuse, um, his chart is not overwhelmed by water at all. In fact, if you look at it, he's very weak in earth, which is what nourishes him. That's 9%. His metal is about 36%. So overall, he's kind of seen as weak because he doesn't have any support, very weak support. His output is pretty balanced, water at 14%. Wood is very strong. And again, this is his opposing element. And the conflict here is in what he can control, right? And when you think of substance abuse, substance abuse, the trick, right, um, is that you think you have control over it until it starts to control you. And that's when the whole thing goes down. Um, his fire is very weak. And I've mentioned this before, fire is mental health. It's your heart, it's circulation, right? Um, it's your blood. So the fact that both fire and earth were weak is interesting because he would need one or both of those elements to really have a successful sustaining career. And again, his career has that void in it, which means this was not an easy path for this kid. And he started his career at the age of seven. All right. So um, interesting to look that his life pillar, the reason why he was here living this life, echoed this year of the Yang Water Tiger. And it's about somebody who is here to create to produce and in his creations to find joy in it and celebration. Um, the tiger uh, speaks directly to his self, right? His self as a tiger person. His number one most important relationship is his father, the person who didn't show up for him. Um, and mention of health issues, mention of um, earning money through multiple sources of revenue stream. And um, the day that he died was, you know, Yang Water, Tiger Year, Yang Metal, Dog Month, and a Yang Water Dog Day. So you've got, yes, a lot of water, but mostly what I'm seeing is a whole lot of yang. And yang and yin need to be in balance. The masculine, the feminine, right? If you have too much masculine, it becomes very aggressive, oppressive. If you have too much yin, it's, it's too dark, too, yeah, you need that balance. So I'm seeing all of this big, heavy, oppressive energy coming down with a lot of water, metal that nourishes that water. Also seeing all of this earth element as well. Um, and so I'm looking at all of this going, where possibly could this guy have died? Like it doesn't add up. 
just saying the again the the you look at his current luck cycle of a yang earth monkey and this is the monkey is a direct hit and his luck cycle started in 2017 which was the year his dad died and this was really a time of him finding himself and within this search for self and finding support and finding outside resources to help him even to the extent of possibly being on a spiritual journey this time of his life again that started in 2017 that monkey that yang metal even though it is his element again it is working against his tiger self and that is where i think the break happens it's like you're in the luck cycle he's now halfway through this luck cycle in 2022 the build up the build up and then this year being a tiger year exacerbating this conflict okay and this again is wood and metal which are the two strongest elements in his chart and they are in conflict they are, it is a continual weary battle that he waged with himself his whole life. The fact that there was very little fire contributes to the mental health aspect here. Tiger people tend to be pretty independent and pretty volatile. They're up, down, all around. They might be heavily into projects and then completely disinterested and onto something else. Not quite like a monkey, right? Monkeys tend to do a lot of that too. Tigers kind of really stop and start. Um, it's hard for them to keep a consistent pace. And um, yeah, very independent people. So I wanted to then look really quickly here to see any other clues that we might possibly find with him. Um, yeah, I mean, it's coming through, very independent, really needs to have balance in his life, loves life, um, lives it to its fullest, but that that verve that 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 I mentioned about why he's here, this this motivation to be alive, to be in life, to be creating his music, and then it's like, but it can be too much of a good thing. Um, yeah, and also that this guy needed to stay busy he wanted to be active again that tiger energy active or let's completely stop um but almost like a daredevil um adventurous spirit uh a survivor you know somebody that could be manipulative manipulative there's a word or um you know, when backed into a corner really comes out strong in defense of themselves. And um, and the great need for balance. Again, yeah. So all of that. And then this one other piece that I wanted to look at also that says, you know, his energy just is not as vibrant in his chart um and it comes down to seeing not only the monkey and the tiger clashing but also the amount of wood in his chart because he has a full spring trio that's the tiger the rabbit and the dragon and then a semi regular wood trio of the pig and the rabbit so that is a lot of wood all piled up working against his yang metal self and just so you know the liver is the wood element 
And if this kid was doing a lot of drugs and alcohol, his liver could have been impacted in all of this too. Um, the day that he died, the month and day, both being the dog, were in conflict with his dragon, tanking water and fire even more um, and raising up earth. And he was also, um, the monkey and the pig create a harm that hits the month and takes down metal. So what does that mean? This current luck cycle that started in 2017 harmed his month of the pig. And that harm definitely was speaking directly to the fact that his father died and definitely impacted his relationship with his older brother and his parents. And that might've been the tipping point where things really started to fall apart. It's my guess. Anyway, um, these things are fascinating. You know, a life and a chart is a complicated onion to unpeel. And we're, our curiosity to understand why certain things happen, why people die, why people get divorced, why we might lose a job that we thought was going really well, um, why we can't conceive a child. There are so many very personal aspects to our journey and astrology gives us this window into beginning to understand the why, right? And in that, that unpacking, that unpeeling of the onion to discover the why, we learn something about not only the, the, con, the, the constructs of astrology and how it works, but we also can see how through astrology, we learn so much the secrets of why we are here and why tragedies happen, unexpected things happen, and life is gift that we're given moment by moment to appreciate it, to live in gratitude, to live in joy, and to be our best self in every given moment. It's so important. So thank you so much. Be well.